Hey everybody, it's Bindi Smalls. I am here to give you guys a review today about a tool head that was sent to me by Lulzbot just recently. The tool head in question is the Lulzbot More Struder. This is the sleeve that came from the box. It is kind of an extremely unique tool head. I've never seen anything like this where you can print, and this is what Lulzbot claims, you can print bigger, faster, stronger, and more! So you can 3D print up to 100 grams of filament per hour. That's insane. That's about 0.22 pounds of plastic moving through your 3D printer in an hour. So let me go over some of the features of this tool head to see if this is actually right for you, or maybe you're interested in a tool head that can print faster. Maybe you're you're just sick of waiting for your, for your machine to get through these prints, to get these parts off the bed. You've got powerful NEMA 17 stepper motor. You have two uh, 40 millimeter ducted cooling fans. You've also got another 40 millimeter heatsink fan to cool the heatsink of the tool head, to cool the heatsink of the extruder so that you don't get heat creep. Heat creep is a long story, it sucks. So this actually solves that issue. So you'll have a heatsink fan. Love that they added that, it's great. As well as a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. That's crazy. Most printers will have like a 3.35 millimeter nozzle or 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Uh, this is a 1.2, that's more than twice as big as uh, of a diameter as the nozzle that I have right now on all my Tazes. All my Tazes have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and they are awesome. This is 1.2 and the reason it's so big is so that you can literally physically push more filament through the extruder. It is compatible with a Taz 5 and a Taz 6. Installation on this was so easy. All I really had to do was remove one screw, plug in the tool head, put the screw back in, and Cura kind of takes care of the rest. You go through an installation wizard, essentially through Cura, that'll automatically flash your firmware of your printer to use this tool head. It is by far the most simple process I've ever used to put a tool head onto a printer. Uh, so thank you Lulzbot for that. If you've ever used a Lulzbot, anything you've been printing with so far you can use on the Morstruder. That includes ABS, that includes nylon, that includes tea glaze, that includes PET, other PET tea products, that includes other kinds of PLA, PLA blends. I mean the possibilities are kind of endless. Let's take a look at unboxing this thing and getting it on my printer. So now that I've printed a very, very big part, and here we have the dragon wing off of Sonia Verdu's uh, Brack. The estimate by Cura was accurate. It took about 14 hours to print. And this is in the standard profile of the more Struder tool head. This is not the Quick profile. Quick would have made this even faster, but I, I chose to go with standard because I wanted to see the kind of resolution you get. So probably from about here on camera, this looks pretty dang good. If you see close-up footage you do notice you see giant layer lines but honestly in something this big that might be okay for what you need and do I like this tool head yes this is awesome this is honestly one of the strongest 
<laughs> Strongest prints I've ever made, ever. It's extremely thick uh, perimeters help make this part like bomb proof. So I could see myself using this to make stilts. I could see myself using this to make a frame upon which to put other pieces. For instance, like a mech frame, wink wink, nudge nudge. But yeah, I, I, I really like it. And it's kind of just amazing to watch this much material move through a printer. I've never seen any of my printers print that fast before. It's, it's kind of incredible. Uh, not to mention, think of how cool it would be to make a giant things fast. All in all, would I buy a more Struder tool head? Yes, I would. Um, specifically to make giant, extremely strong parts out of PLA, which is my favorite material. So that is my opinion on the Lulzbot More Struder tool head. I think it's great. I think if anyone's out there printing very large things and they're sick of waiting, I think you should absolutely look into this tool head. Thanks!